Hey guys, I'm Dylan Booth and today I'll be showing you um, a simple effective way and oh, tricks of how to soft bait. So today we are at Tikapo. Um, it is flowing reasonably fast so what I like to use um, is, a, is a 1 8 jig head. Um, you can really use um, oh, whatever jig head you really want but a lot of the time when the current's fast the fish tend I find to hang near the bottom so what I have here is just a Berkeley Nitro jig head I find these jig heads are very sharp but I also like using the mustard jig heads that uh, you can get any from your local retail store but soft bait choice I normally go with a um, Berkeley Gulp um, yeah today the choice of colour is rainbow you can get these from hunting and fishing or any fishing tackle store and this is what they look like this is the soft bait that I'm using today this is a Berkeley Gulp um, rainbow I think it's 3.8 centimeters or inches I'm not entirely too sure but this is what I use to catch lots of salmon on and also big trout today I'll be showing you how to put the soft plastic onto the jig head so what you want to do is you want to line up your hook and your soft bait you can go like that or go like that and that has a fair idea of where the hook should come out so what I normally do is I put it in and I keep my fingers at the top because this is what you want to be doing instead of having it down here because it goes all over the show so what you do is you stood it up and where it starts bending poke the hook out and gently slide it onto the hook and it should look something like that now I'll be showing you how to retrieve the soft plastic so you come down to the water and you look at the current here behind me we have a raft so there's water that stops flowing it's nice and calm so what you want to be doing is you want to cast them behind there and mend your line so it gets down to the bottom I'll show you so flick your bail arm over Put a cast in and mend your line. Keep your rod high at all times, as this is an easy way to mend. And after you've done that, you feel for bite. There we go, we have a bite. And slowly wind in after you finish your drift. See, I wasn't deep enough, so I didn't pick up a fish that cast. So, what you want to do is you want to cast out again And as you can see, there's a big rainbow that just surfaced. Mend your line, keep your rod high, and let that drift down. If you don't get bites, always change up because the fish, you never know what they're going to snap at. So I'll cast again. In behind the raft, let's lock the line out. And let it drift. Oh, I had a bite. There you go. Oh, there you go. And just like that, a simple, effective way of soft plastic fishing. 
The other fish actually doesn't feel too bad. Oh my, we've got a fish in there. Sometimes the current can uh, make the fish look bigger. So, nine times out of ten, it can be a small fish, but it actually feels alright this one. Normally when playing my fish as well, I keep my rod high so I can turn the fish's head at all times. It's a salmon. And there we have a New Zealand salmon caught on the soft bait that I just rigged in front of you. And that is how you soft bait. Um. <laughs>